And that brings us to the top male athlete of the last 10 years. Like Mock, he was a high school quarterback and a good one, but didn't play football as a senior. Not because of any injuries, but because he decided to focus on the sport that would lead him to college and to the NBA. Aaron Kraft, Liberty Benton, class of 2010, basketball and football. Helped lead Liberty Benton to the state title game in basketball as a freshman and in football as a junior. 2010 Division III Basketball Player of the Year after averaging 26 points, 7 assists and 8 rebounds to go along with 3.2 steals per game. Twice All-State in basketball and a 1,000 point score, his Liberty Benton basketball teams went 88-5 and in his four years. Played football as well for the Eagles as both a quarterback and free safety. On the gridiron, LB was regional champions in 2006 and the state runners-up in 2008. An all-state quarterback in 2007 and 2008 while earning Ohio Division V Offensive Player of the Year honors as a junior. In just three years, gained 11,000 yards of total offense, leading the Eagles to a 38-4 record. Was also an exceptional defensive player in football. You could tell from an, from an early age, Aaron had worked incredibly hard in his game. Uh, even you noticed in, in middle school that Aaron was going to be something special. And I remember going into that his first uh, freshman year that you know he was our starting point guard. You could tell that in the summer he had enough ability. Well, the thing I noticed most about Aaron Kraft was how well he competed. Now, he's 6'1", he's got athletic tools, he's got size and strength and so on, but his competitiveness is what set him apart from other players. Aaron was basically a coach on the floor for Steve and what he was able to relay to the team, even though the kids knew what was going on, Aaron could reinforce it in a way that was different than coming from a coach, so to speak, to where everybody bought into it. I thought he was an outstanding player. He still distributed the ball and found the right guy because he knew there was gonna be guys that the other teams were paying a lot of attention to him. But you know, that's one thing I think Aaron, for, for us in our basketball program, he just made everybody around him better. In, in my role today, I look at more what they do for the sport itself and maybe for a team. And I think that's what Aaron Kraft epitomizes as much as anything. He did so much for the game of basketball, bringing back, if you want to say, the hustle, the desire, what, what we love in high school basketball. And obviously he carried that further than that. I remember seeing him as a freshman guard for that uh, state runner-up team with Liberty Benton. But really what impressed me about Aaron was uh, his uh, presence and his ability on the football field. I thought that football would be his natural next uh, step and to play that uh, at the college level, uh, a good defensive back. You know, his decision not to play as a senior at Liberty Bend, I think shocked a lot of people, uh, but it was the right decision. I think Eric Kraft was, the best football, was a better football player than he was a basketball player, personally. I think he made a pretty good decision playing basketball, but as a high school player, he was a better football player than he was a basketball player. You know, he, he was a weapon on both sides. He really was. Um, he had the ability to, and just like he did on the basketball court, he had that, uh, you know, the ability as a defensive back to feel that receiver's at, you know, anticipate what the quarterback wanted to do and made him extremely dangerous from uh, that standpoint. You know, he got the notoriety for, uh, you know, for being the quarterback, but uh, he was an unbelievable defensive back for us. I thought when I watched him, you know, because we went against other kids that went D1 and, you know, got sniffs on the NFL teams. I thought, I thought this kid could play on Sundays. I mean, I thought he was that good uh, as, a, as a safety especially. But uh, that kid was special. He was just a tremendous athlete. I mean, if um, baseball would have been something he would have wanted to spend some time on and some effort with, he would have been a tremendous baseball player. It would have been great in track. Um, you know, he just had that, uh, he just had that something special, that athleticism you just don't, uh, you don't see very often. You know, we talk often, we ne never seen him in a bad mood, uh, never seen him, um, you know, where, where it wasn't full go. And, and, and that was just contagious. That was contagious for our whole football team. Um, he was a tremendous football player individually, but what he did, those little things, made everybody around him a little bit better. And, and uh, those were good times. Aaron has a good like rapport with younger kids, and it was just important for him, I think, to be able to to use his you know ability to 
um, you know, make other kids better. And I think those are the little things that, you know, I just remember that make him special. He wasn't, you know, he, he wasn't an ego guy. It was all about, you know, other people and doing what he can to make teams better. As, as great an athlete as he was on the court, uh, even better person off of it. Not many people expected him to succeed at Ohio State, much less be there all four years. Not only did he exceed that, he excelled and he became one of the poster childs for college basketball in the country during that time. Frame. Went on to an all Big Ten career with the Buckeyes, winning League Defensive Player of the Year honors twice, as well as sixth man of the year as a freshman and helped lead the team to the Final Four as a sophomore. Graduated Ohio State with over 1,000 points scored and as the program's all-time leader in assists and steals. Aaron Kraft, number one on 44's Top 44 Male Athletes. Kraft has spent the last two seasons playing in the NBA's Developmental League, where he led Santa Cruz to the league title in 2015 and was named the Defensive Player of the Year. He is scheduled to play in the NBA Summer League for the third straight summer.